What is going on everybody? It is Jamie and I really wish my live recording was working because I have to make a 22 minute commentary and I don't really know what to talk about. So I'm just going to talk about the gameplay for a while and hopefully ideas will pop into my head. Um, so Road to Commander Part 2, um, this is two gameplays, two domination gameplays. Um, obviously Domination's longer than Team Deathmatch, so that these uh, next Road to Commanders are going to be longer. I might end up just doing one at a time, but that'll take really long, and I don't want to post like a million and two videos, because uh, I just don't really want to do that. And uh, this makes it more compact, more manageable, which is, uh, which is nice. Um, uh, so yeah, um, this is Domination on Underground, and I'll give you a few... Uh, Tips and tricks for underground. Um, pretty basic, pretty uh, pretty basic map. Um, it is, it has a very open middle, or I shouldn't say that, because it really isn't that open. But uh, basically, um, the middle is kind of divided either by um, C spawn divided by trains, uh, A spawn divided by sort of a wall down the middle. So you really have two sides of the map to mainly stay on. And I highly suggest uh, the side not by B and running running over to their spawn because they're all going to be going to B, especially if you have B. Even if you don't have B and they have it, they're still going to be spawning there. And if you run around to A spawn, first of all, first off, you'll be able to pick up some kills. And if they have B, you can cap C, which will make them then start spawning. Or you can cap A, which will make them start spawning C, which will allow you to be able to cap B if you're... Uh, Going for uh, going for the win, so that's a little helpful hint for this map. And uh, if you stay on the outskirts of the map, there are many paths to take. Uh, less on B spawn, uh, which is another good reason not to go that way, because there's really only one way to go, uh, creating a lot of traffic on that side. But if you're going non B spawn, there are multiple ways to go. You can either go way left or way right. One is basically an underground subway path. The other, I don't know how I killed me right there. The other one is sort of a higher ground, uh, less trafficy situation, much less close quarters. As you can see, I'm running away from that B spawn because I don't, I really don't like it over there. But uh, if you start losing B, I highly suggest chucking some nades, rushing over there. Obviously, I don't do that, but um, B on this map is very important to control. Um, really on any map, but uh, uh, some maps it doesn't really matter, and if you're going for KD, it doesn't matter, but um, I'm trying to keep my win-loss above about 1.5, trying to keep my KD above 2, um, so I'm managing to do that so far, and uh, we'll just see how it goes. So I, I'm pretty sure I've made up my mind that Call of Duty, there's a reason why there is prestige mode. And that's to keep it fun and enjoyable. The whole leveling up system is the whole point of the game, which is tons of fun. And I think that I am going to... How does... Knifing doesn't work in this game. I swear to God, they they offered Treyarch one thing that they could add to this game. And they said, oh, let's do the knifing. Because our knifing system's so... No, Treyarch's knifing's awful. This knifing is dreadful. Um, I haven't used Tack Knife, but I'm sure it's awful because... I, I, I don't know. At least Modern Warfare 2, you could knife. I understand Commando was complete bullshit, but at least you could knife, is what I see. Um, where was I going? Crap. Um, I forget. Whatever. Um, my setup for this, obviously I'm only level 6, so uh, I really could only use what I had. And that was a scar. Now, the SCAR is a great weapon for the lower levels. Um, it has really good iron sights, so you don't have to use the red dot or holographic. Although, I do suggest them because the suppressor, in my personal opinion, adds kick to the, to the gun. Also, it seems suppressor just takes away damage. I don't know if this is a true fact, but it seems with snipers and assault rifles and submachine guns, it always takes away damage, which is kind of a pain. Because uh, you want to get those kills quick. And the uh, hit boxes are sort of screwed up in this game. 
I've had a few instances where I'm shooting people in the head and they're not dying and then they shoot me in the leg or something and I die right away. Um, I'm sure that'll be fixed and hopefully knifing will be fixed because it's dreadful. But uh, basically I'm running the 357 ki uh, kill streak because yet again I am only level 6 at the moment. Um, not actually, I'm level 80. But road to commander wise I'm still only level 6. And um, Oh yeah, I was talking about prestiging. Um, so I'm probably going to prestige. Uh, I'll probably go all the way to 10th. I haven't decided yet. Whichever emblem looks the coolest, I'll probably stop. Because you already have 7 custom classes and I haven't prestiged. So I can get those 10 custom classes pretty easily. I could get them by 3rd prestige. Which is pretty cool. But um, whichever one really has the best emblem. Because the level 80 kind of looks stupid with that grayish background. It just doesn't look that cool. So uh, I'm probably going for the emblem. Um, I have three gold guns at the moment. The SCAR, the ACR, and the AK-47. And I'll probably end up keeping the AK-47 just because that gun was difficult to get golden. And I slowly started liking it less and less as I progressed. And um, I'll probably use this. I'll definitely use the SCAR till um, the... Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll definitely use the SCAR till probably the G36, then G36 to ACR. Um, I found in all the Call of Duties I'm more of an assault rifle player. I prefer to uh, be able to pick people off from long distances, and if you ask me, uh, assault rifles work just as well as some machine guns do close range, especially if you're using the FAD. If you don't know what the FAD is, it's a level 78 gun unlocked, the rate of fire. It is just as fast or faster than submachine guns, and it has longer range than all submachine guns, although the damage is quite low. So, uh, sorry about that. Um, on assault rifle-wise, uh, I suggest the FAD if you're more of like a running gun player, but uh, if you are a running gun player, I highly recommend the MP7. You unlock that at level 74, I do believe. Um... And it's just a great gun to use. Um, yeah, so the MP7, uh, highly recommend. Shotgun-wise, um, usually people don't really use shotguns. But uh, I love the Striker. Um, I've loved it since Modern Warfare 2 when it was first introduced. The models, now that you can't get them at Kimbo, are kind of like... I don't know. They're not the greatest. And the Spass 12 really isn't that great. I haven't really used it that much, so... Um, I can't really say much about it, but uh, the striker is tons of fun, and um, I can go quite positive with it. I'd probably maintain like a 2.5 with the striker, which is nice, and uh, I still don't know what my favorite sniper is, because I haven't used them as much as I'd like to. The MSR, I've definitely used the most. I have like 500 kills with that, and um, I think that's level 30. I'm close to having that gold, but like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm going to prestige and I might end up just keeping the MSR because it's level 30 and that was so difficult to get to level 30 and if I'm going to be prestiging often um, that means I want to level up as fast as possible and frankly you level up faster using assault rifles than um, sniper rifles that's just uh, just a fact you probably level up some machine guns even faster but um, uh, in I'm just going to talk about Black Ops for a second because uh, I do have Call of Duty Elite and basically Call of Duty Elite's amazing if you're online. It doesn't work via Xbox for some reason because Call of Duty's stupid. Not really though. But uh, online it shows you like the amount of hours you spent playing which game type and Domination is my number one with 120 hours. Uh, Search and Destroy is number two with 118 hours. And if you noticed, I've only ever had one Search and Destroy gameplay. And uh, I don't know if you level up the fastest in Search and Destroy, but now they introduce this new uh, average kills per game, which I love. And I like to keep that high. My average kills per game is about 25 or 30, which is uh, pretty good. And if I play Search and Destroy, that's only going to go down. Because I don't know about you, but getting 25 kills in Search and Destroy is pretty difficult and not many people can do it um, so I probably won't be playing much search and destroy and I don't know if you really level up that much faster in it 
Uh, most likely I'll continue playing Domination. Uh, but Ground War is really my main game type because I love Domination. They offer it in Ground War. Uh, I like Team Deathmatch. They offer it in Ground War. Kill Confirmed I like because of the fact that people can't really camp. But the fact is if you don't know and are sort of questioning Kill Confirmed, you can, if you kill someone, it counts as a kill. But the only way your team's score goes up is if you grab the dog tags. So basically, you could be, you could have gotten 20 kills, and the other team could have gotten one kill. But if you didn't grab any of the dog tags and their team grabbed theirs, then they'd be, or they would have won, or they'd be winning. So, uh, people still can camp and, uh, just really work on their kills, or KD, and kill confirmed, um, there's plenty of people who camp because they know people are trying to win and they have to rush to their dog tags, therefore they can camp out dog tags, so, uh, I really don't really like kill confirmed that much for that specific reason, but, um, it's a, it's a pretty decent game type, I guess. Uh, so Ground War is really my main, main thing, and uh, another thing I love about this is it shows you your prestiges from other Call of Duties. As you can see, Call of Duty 4, I believe that's 7th prestige. World at War sucked, didn't really play online. Love Zombies didn't play online at all, so I was level, like, what, 30? Uh, Modern Warfare 2, 10th prestige, um, I played the shit out of that game. Uh, Black Ops 15th, um, played... The shit out of that game too. I played more Modern Warfare 2 than Black Ops though. Um, I think Modern Warfare 2 I had like maybe one and a half times as much time played as Black Ops. Uh, purely because Modern Warfare 2 had so many like more things that you could do in Black Ops. Uh, for example, amazing quickscoping. Like Black Ops, I loved quickscoping in Black Ops. I think it's ridiculous that so many people hated Black Ops. Because of the quick scoping, because I thought it was I thought it was fine. Um, if I rated Call of Duty's top to bottom, I'd have to say Call of Duty Four number one. Even though we all say Call of Duty Four was the best, but when you really think about it, Call of Duty Four had some awful things. For example, the knifing. For example, frag times three, which is just a ridiculously unfair perk. Um. Because frags, you can get quads off of frags, and then you can get... Really, you could probably get 12 kills, 1 life, no, not even shooting 1 bullet. I, I didn't like frag times 3. Juggernaut, which was the biggest bull, because if you're playing COD 4 for the best part of it, which is quickscoping, and someone was running around with an overpowered MP5 silence with Juggernaut, then you just... It was complete bull, because you'd get... Hit markers all day long, and that was bull. Last stand was bull. There was tons of bad things about Call of Duty 4, but it was still my favorite for the precise reason of the M40, and that gun was just amazing. And they better never bring that sniper back because it is a legend that should never be tried to repeat because it's so amazing. And uh, so anyways, top to bottom, Call of Duty 4, Black Ops, Modern Warfare 2, World at War. Uh... Black Ops in front of Modern Warfare 2, purely because Modern Warfare 2 had so many issues. Um, literally every thing in that game was overpowered. Every other assault rifle was overpowered. Every other submachine gun was overpowered. All the light machine guns blew. The intervention was great. The Barrett was great. Barrett was my favorite sniper. But um, there were so many BS things in that game that I just... I'll never be able to forgive Activision for putting in. But uh, Modern Warfare 3 so far seems pretty balanced. The uh, ACR, some would say, is overpowered. Um, I disagree with that. Um, I've seen plenty of people beat the ACR with the gun I'm using right now, the M4, A1. Um, and I love how the M16 in this game literally is like a three-burst kill. Um... Because that gun has been overpowered in all the Call of Duties that it's ever been in. And this gun, it just blows. But the Type 9.5 is exactly like the Fawns from Modern Warfare 2. The fact that it oftentimes gets a one-hit burst. Off, uh, more often than not, two. 
and rarely three. So I don't like that gun at all, and I hate people who use it, just like the frickin' PP. I hate that damn gun, and uh, never going to use that. But uh, I want to start another series on Help Me Help You, uh, which is basically gun tutorials. So I'll go gun by gun, starting with the M4, then the whatever comes after that, the M16, then the SCAR, and do like a free-for-all or something do my first game that I win and I'll post that score and then you guys can try to beat it or whatever and um, do a video response and I'll do something I don't know if it'll be like a gift or like whatever um, obviously this is being posted on help you help me so I'll probably repeat that uh, that statement on the other channel because I know um, the other channel has a lot more followers and uh, still hoping this channel gets nice and big I'll probably put a reminder that this video is out on Help Me Help You. Um, although this is a long video and it'll take forever to post because my internet is being really slow. It's been taking like three hours to post a 15 minute video. Which is ridiculous and I hate that. But uh, whatever, you gotta work with it. Um, and yeah, this gameplay commentary is actually pretty close to being over. And I don't think I've been too like stuttery off topic. I didn't mention this map. This is domination on Arcadin or Arcadin or whatever you want to say. And strategy for this is maintain the high ground over here. Maintain A and B. You can spawn trap C like it's your job if you have a good party with you. And uh, do not let them have A and C because that is awful because all you're doing is spawning down by B and that's just going to suck. So I highly suggest maintaining A and B. And for those of you who don't know, I'm looking up here. If you look at the top left of the screen, that ledge, you can get on that ledge. If you walk up those stairs and go to the right, I didn't know this till later. I'm sure I'll post videos later showing it. But that ledge, not many people know about. And you can definitely camp your ass off and get tons of kills right there. So a uh, highly recommended spot if you're going for kills. Also, you can uh, do a really good job of covering B and covering A. Um, not so much C. Well, not at all C. Another reason why I don't like C because it's really hard to maintain a uh, position on C. And it's really easy for the enemy to capture it. So, uh, like I said, A and B, maintain high ground. This, this part where I was just shooting, that's a death trap. Never be down there. Unless it's like search and destroy, because like I said, it's a death trap and everyone's going to be running in there and you can just pick them off with your suppressed whatever. And um, yeah, I suggest um, basically camping out A and B if you're trying to win Dom. And uh, I for one hate trip triple capping because basically you don't have a very good spawn point. The enemy team doesn't have a very good spawn point and it's very difficult to maintain um, a good structure throughout the game so I highly suggest A and B and uh, like I said in keeping the high ground obviously I'm using the same class setup as the last game because what am I now level 12 and uh, I didn't have much to choose from um, I haven't used the G36 much that was bull I could have gotten a triple and I hit the damn bar but uh, I haven't used the G36 much. I'm definitely going to use it more next Prestige because it's a really good gun. But uh, the SCAR doesn't have much recoil. The G36 definitely has a lot of recoil if you don't use kick. I'd say the best setup for the G36 is suppressor and kick. The SCAR, I'd say, is probably um, extended mags. Or if you want to use the baby monitor, the baby monitor is great. Uh, a lot of people don't like it when people use that because they think it's overpowered or whatever. But in actuality, it just makes the gun look cool because the thing only can... Actually, I think it has longer range than Modern Warfare 2. But uh, you really only can see like 5 feet in front of you, so it's really not that overpowered. And if you're playing Domination, uh, basically you're going to have a spy plane up all the time. Um, no question about that. So I really don't think it's that overpowered, and um, uh, I just suggest it if you're using the SCAR. And 
I guess this game is wrapping up. Um, I'll probably, like I said, post a reminder on Help Me Help You that this is up. And I'll be posting another one on this channel tomorrow. Then I'll probably post on Help Me Help You. And then I'll po post another two. I think I'm going to go one, two, one, two, one, two, kind of like that. So I, because we're almost on the 100th video. And I'm pretty sure we've decided for the 100th video to be um, a setup video. So uh, we'll see about that and uh, what happens. Uh, I got to talk to Tommy about that because I don't know if he's up for it. But I'm pretty sure we're going to do a setup for the 100th video. And like I said in the previous video on Help Me Help You, I'm planning on doing a 1,000 subscriber giveaway and a 2,500 subscriber giveaway. Basically, um, I'm going to be choosing a random uh, unknown number of subscribers yet. And then all you have to do is be a subscriber and I'll be giving you something I haven't said yet. I'm thinking I might do like uh, the first prize player gets an HD PVR. Then the second prize player gets, I don't know, maybe like a controller. And then the third prize player gets like a 1600 Microsoft or whatever. So, um, yeah, final score, 27 and 8 for the second gameplay. Uh, this Roach Commander Part 2 uh, is over, promoted level 13. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll talk to you in the next commentary. Peace.